evening, March 19, and she did eat, and was sufficed, and left. Ruth 2.14 Whenever we are privileged to eat of the bread which Jesus gives, we are, like Ruth, satisfied with the full and sweet repast. When Jesus is the host, no guest goes empty from the table. Our head is satisfied with the precious truth which Christ reveals, our heart is content with Jesus, as the altogether lovely object of affection, our hope is satisfied, for whom have we in heaven but Jesus, and our desire is satiated, for what can we wish for more than to know Christ and to be found in him? Jesus fills our conscience till it is at perfect peace, our judgment with persuasion of the certainty of his teachings, our memory with recollections of what he has done, and our imagination with the prospects of what he is yet to do. As Ruth was sufficed, and left, so is it with us. We have had deep drafts, we have thought that we could take in all of Christ, but when we have done our best we have had to leave a vast remainder. We have sat at the table of the Lord's love, and said, nothing but the infinite can ever satisfy me, I am such a great sinner that I must have infinite merit to wash my sin away. But we have had our sin removed, and found that there was merit to spare, we have had our hunger relieved at the feast of sacred love, and found that there was a redundance of spiritual meat remaining. There are certain sweet things in the word of God which we have not enjoyed yet, and which we are obliged to leave for a while, for we are like the disciples to whom Jesus said, I have yet many things to say unto you, but yet cannot bear them now. Yes, there are graces to which we have not attained places of fellowship nearer to Christ which we have not reached, and heights of communion which our feet have not climbed. At every banquet of love there are many baskets of fragments, left, let us magnify the liberality of our glorious Boaz.